The holidays are soon upon us, and you know what that means. Around this bountiful table will be sat all the death deniers you're related to. Yes, I bought decorative gourds and mashed potatoes for this set. You're welcome. Who in your life is not good with the death conversation? Not just not good, but like they shut it down immediately. Is it your partner? Your grandma? Who is it? I asked you to tell me the deflections you've been getting when you try to bring up death or death planning with your loved ones, and I got the first 250 replies in less than an hour, which means, uh, yeah, we got some deniers out there. Big old deniers. Denial town. Population. Your mom. First, you have to prepare yourself for the most common shutdown tactics. Isn't that a little morbid? I don't care. I'll be dead. Oh, honey, you're too young. This is not the time. Ooh, well, that's creepy. No, no, I don't want to talk about you dying. You seem so happy. Are you depressed? You are overthinking it. Oh, yeah, your mom, your mom's taking care of all that. Your fascination with death is unhealthy. We don't need to talk about it. You'll know what to do. Let's not say death. It's a holiday. Why not pass away? The good news is that the holidays are actually the perfect time for the corpse chat. Have you had the corpse chat with your child? And I have some tips to crack that denial shell and get to that soft, gushy, death-aware person we know is in there somewhere. Here's a mantra that's easy to remember for these conversations. Fun facts and real feelings. 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 What do I mean by that? Fun facts are the icebreakers, interesting factoids to ease your loved ones into the conversation. Maybe don't start with, we're all gonna die, should I cremate your body and wear you as a necklace? To be clear, that's a fair question, but they might hear that statement as something incredibly threatening to their sense of self. So try opening with fun, less threatening icebreaker facts. I love the technique of starting with, I was just reading, or I was just watching. You can wait for your moment to strike. Say that the topic of health, or doctors, or medicine comes up. This is you. Well, I heard on NPR the other day that something like 90% of doctors wouldn't want aggressive treatment for themselves if they were dying or had terminal illness. So if they don't even want it for themselves, why are so many of us getting aggressive treatment? Am I right? They were also saying that it's so much harder to die at home than we think without planning. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about what you might want? Or use me, the wacky mortician. That's a great icebreaker. Again, this is you. So Jessica and I started watching this mortician online and she was talking about how you can have something called a natural burial where you just bury your body in a shroud, like in a forest. That sounds cool to me, but I don't know. Have you heard about that? The I read or heard about this tactic takes the pressure of we are sitting down to have this serious talk about you dying off the table. There are so many directions to go. Fantasy coffins of Ghana, who wants a chicken coffin? To the funeral cheerleaders in that episode of Riverdale. Keep it fun and start breaking down their walls. Then we have our real feelings. Maybe fun facts aren't working or you're getting a lot of, we do not need to talk about that. It's tempting to yell, we do need to talk about this though. We do need to talk about this. Why are you so afraid of death? That is not going to win folks over or make them want to talk to you. You have to be honest with how scared you are about their death and the fact that you don't know what they want. Here's my number one thing to say when the time is right. Read the room. I am terrified that you're going to die because we all do and I'm gonna have no idea what you want. I'm not gonna have you here to help me anymore and I'm gonna be freaked out and I'm scared that I am not fulfilling your wishes, so please help me understand now. You can also be honest with how much death scares you. For example, look, I'm really freaked out by death too, but listen, talking about it recently has really helped me be less afraid. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but I promise it works and so I wanna talk about this with you. I hope this gives you some jumping off points for talking about death with your loved ones over the holiday season. The holidays can be brutal, but talking about death doesn't have to be. Though it probably will be. Spoiler, buckle up. 
I want this comment section to be filled with tips and tricks that have worked for you. The blowback you got and things you were able to do to get through to the people you love. P.S. There is no new video next week. We're taking a week off for the corpse chat, but mostly because we're coming back with a long video we've spent quite a long time on. Forgive us, it will be worth it. Mmm. Holiday meal. This video was made with generous donations from death enthusiasts just like you. The more I talk, the better I feel, and I want to talk about it with you because I love you. <laughs>